Hi everyone, this is Brandon Burgess with Irrigator Technical Training School and today we're going to go over the testing procedures on a double check backflow prevention assembly. Now, it's called a double check because, believe it or not, two check valves in there, right? Pretty simple. Again, all backflows need to be tested once a year, minimum, right? Under If it's under a special requirement with your water authority, it might be more than once a year, but at least once a year. So equipment I'm gonna need for this one, I need my differential pressure gauge, my high side hose, my lead off valve arrangement, and something specific to the double check, I need my sight tube, right? Of course I need appropriate fitting. So let's go ahead and go through the testing procedure. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to notify the owner, notify them that we're coming in, we're gonna be testing the backflow. We need to identify it. So this is a three quarter watts. So we look at the serial number, we verify that. And then we inspect, make sure no one has tampered with the test cocks, right? Shutoff valves are correct, it's got handles on it. We're good there. Then we need to observe, observe, make sure there was nothing going on, no leakage, no spillage, all the test cocks have left off properly, everything's good there. So let's go ahead and start our procedures. So what I'm doing here is just cleaning the test cocks. I'm just opening them up, closing them down. Again, I'm cleaning out all foreign material as well as making sure that they are operational. All right, so then there we go, number four. Okay, so I need to install my, whoa. Okay, so I need to install my sight tube on the number three test cock, All right? So this is behind the, the first check valve. Fill it up. Close that. Stick my bleed off valve arrangement on the number two. Again, this is in place to compensate for a leaky number one shutoff valve. Got my differential gauge, hook up my high side hose. And hook my high side hose up to my number two test cock with a bleed off valve arrangement on that. Okay, so I open up test cock number two. I'm gonna, on my, on my gauge, I'm gonna use the bleed, um, bleed valve, I'm gonna open it up, bleed out the air, close it down. Can you see it? Okay, so what now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close shut off valve number two then close shutoff valve number one, making sure I have positive pressure, right, as I isolate. So now I'm isolated in here. What I'm gonna do is take my screwdriver, open test cock number three with the sight tube, allowing the water to come out of the sight tube, fully open that, and I'm gonna see what pressure my number one check valve's holding back. As you can see here, a value of over 2.0. We're looking for one. That's a passing value. Let's go ahead and move to number two test cock. A little trick I learned, if you put your hand on top of the sight tube, as you transfer it, you don't have to fill it back up again. Mysterious. Put my appropriate fitting on test cock number three. Again, as you can see, I put my sight tube on test cock number four, my bleed off arrangement with my high side hose on my number three. Because now I'm going to check the number two test cock. Make sure my test cocks are off. They are. I'm going to go ahead and re energize the system. And I do that by slowly opening the number one shutoff valve. 
good on that. So I want to go ahead and open test cock number three. Indicated by my gauge maxing out at the 15 PSI differential. I'm going to go ahead and open my low side bleed or my high side bleed. I'm going to go ahead and open my high side bleed. Go ahead and close that off. Again, hold my gauge at the appropriate level. This is very important. Center of the gauge at the level of the water. I'm going to isolate by shutting shut off valve number one. Take my screwdriver and just simply open test cock number four with a sight tube on it. As my gauge goes down, fully open. And observe my reading, I'm at 2.6 PSI. So that's a passing value on my check valve number two. So this overall is a pass on this assembly, on this double check valve. So I go ahead and close my, close my shutoff valves, take off my equipment. Okay, now I wanna always promote positive pressure in my system. So I open number one shutoff valve and slowly open my number two restoring pressure and water to the customer. Okay, so again, this is Brandon Burgess with Irrigator Technical Training School. And if you have any questions, any comments, if you wanna see anything else in the backflow field, please feel free to leave me a comment. I love when you guys leave me comments. I'm always looking forward to them. You know, we're always trying to improve. So again, Brandon Burgess, Irrigator Technical Training School, and I'll catch you on the next one.